If you've watched my channel very long at all, you know what's about to go down. Frank, do you see that fire going yeah, over? Yeah, I see that fire going over. Okay, so give somebody a bath. Yeah. <laughs> you want a bath? No, son? I don't want a I don't want a board bath. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Oh bad. son. Hey Caleb. Caleb. You wanna be in this thing too, son? Oh, oh, oh you little rat. <laughs> <laughs> hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're going to discuss runts, mangalitsa runts and how to make them grow good. I can't promise you this will work in every case, but I know one thing, this pig was the runtiest runt I ever saw. Looked like it was gonna die, and what we did, after its mama weaned him off with all the rest of that litter, we let him go to a new litter, which is all these other white ones that you see with him was in that litter, let her double dip basically speaking she got to nurse from two different mamas and what we did was we just allowed all of that litter including her to just run wild on this property and they still are except for her she's gonna go in the pot today i cannot believe what a difference it makes when they can just free range and have access to all the acorns all the hickory nuts and everything else that they could possibly want. They have gone through and they have cleaned out the corn patch where we missed corn or it fell over. They have had their pig and the pig knows what it needs at the time. Sometimes they eat greenery, sometimes they eat protein, sometimes they do whatever. Whatever it is they need, they get it, they grow better. It's amazing. I'm gonna scald this thing because I need to save the skin for a certain project that's coming up and then we're gonna see what we got. As you can see, this pig weighs 99.6 pounds. So we'll say a 100 pound pig. She was born July the 24th. Yesterday was December the 24th, and I know you're saying, no, it wasn't. Well, on the day I'm making this video, it was. That means today's Christmas for me. This is my Christmas gift I'm fixing to open up. So anyway, Yesterday, she would be five months old. August the 22nd, basically one month later, I've got a picture of her sucking the next mama that was supposed to have her baby. Before the mama had her babies, this whole group was <laughs> attacked this mama and she just called them over and laid over and I thought, man, I've got problems. This mama ain't gonna have no colostrum for her new babies, but it didn't work out that way. It worked out fine. I don't know why. It's the first time that ever happened to me. This mama asked those other babies to come and nurse her before she ever had her first litter that she ever had. But all's well that ends well. In this picture, you can see right here is the piglet. That's this pig, so little and so runty. I didn't think it would live. I literally thought it would die. I said, we obviously after it made it, I said, well, we're not gonna sell it. So that's the reason you say five months is way too early to kill one. I know if I was fattening it up, but no, this pig has been out running with these others, just eating hickory nuts, acorns, and whatever, going wild. And I've got three more, two boars and a gilt that I've got to eventually eat. And they're not ones I planned on eating. So I'm not going to fatten them up. I got two up on the hill that I've been fattening up from a previous litter. So these are just random ones. They're too old and valuable really to sell right now because people don't want to spend that kind of money directly after Christmas. I'm just going to eat them and that's fine with me. That's the reason why I raised them in the first place. She has turned into a little fatty. I tell you, I'm excited about this. This video is just basically showing you how that when they have free range, they can get fat no matter what. All right, when you scald a hog, you want your water to be roughly 147 degrees. If it's 150, that'd be good too. Right now we use this pot I don't have anything better at this point. I would like to get a big full scalding pan set up. I might build something right here with a roof on it and everything someday. That's part of being a homesteader. You can't have everything you want right now, but make do with what you got.
All right, we got her scalded, scraped. I, I, <laughs> I always give them a good scrubbing with dishwashing soap. I just want to clean them up as good as possible. I almost over scalded her. I had a place or two where a little patch of skin pulled off, but that's not going to be the word. It's not the end of the world, and possibly because she's only five months old, because that their skin is very tender when they're that young. But I just want to show you what you can do with the scrawniest runt if you just let them have access to some good food and let them pick what they want. It's amazing. And when they're little, if you if your place is big enough. The pig probably didn't leave about a uh, five or six acre circle here. She never really went off too far. If they're born and raised in that location and they're always able to get out, they know where mommy is and they just range around a little bit and get what they want. And that works out great. If your place is set up to, to do that, I highly recommend it, especially this time of year when there's no produce in the garden. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.